Happy Eclipse Day, everybody. While the kids are finishing up their schoolwork, I'm gonna make a candy bar apple salad. I'm making mine a little bit different because I don't have many Snickers bars. Well, I might have enough. I have some caramels too because we love caramel, so I'm gonna put a few extra caramels in it. Yeah, we've got enough Snickers things, I think, here. I think it's like two or four regular size candy bars, so I think about six of these little ones will work. And we're gonna use Cosmic Crisp apples instead of Granny Smith. We're gonna go ahead and wash the apples real quick. We're hoping for no clouds. Oh, y'all, I could not find Eclipse glasses anywhere, okay, anywhere. So I was like, we're gonna have to make some of those little cereal box things, you know, that you can look at the Eclipse through the cereal box. But we were outside earlier and our neighbor Jackie, she's the same one who gave us the camel saddle. She is so sweet. She was like, do y'all got some glasses? And I said, no, I couldn't find any anywhere. And she said, I got an extra pair at the house. So John and Cece rode down there with her to get the glasses. So now we have some. That was very sweet of her. Okay, we need to make the pudding mixture first. The last time that we had a solar eclipse, there were people selling those eclipse glasses everywhere because I guess we were in the path of totality and this time since we weren't, it was really hard to find them. I mean, I didn't find any. If I had known I wasn't going to be able to find any, I would have ordered some online before, you know, in time for them to get here. So we need one and a half cups of cold milk and one pack of instant vanilla pudding mix. Okay, we'll mix this up and while it's setting up, it'll just take it a couple of minutes. We'll go ahead and chop the apples. The kids are into red apples now instead of green, so that's why we went with these Cosmic Crisp. For the longest time, Granny Smith apples were their favorite. And I guess they just ate so many of them, they got tired of them, so now they're on a red apple. Cosmic Crisp is their Cosmic Crisp, and they really like those red rockets, but those red rockets are expensive. Or, I th they might not be called red, they might just be called rocket apples, but they're, they're pretty expensive. And they are good, but sometimes, like, I don't like to do them on pickup or delivery because you can't look at them, and it's a shame to pay the price. I think it's like seven or eight dollars for the package and it's sad if you pay that for them and then the apples are you know old or have a bunch of bad spots so I like to look at those before we get that kind. Okay the pudding's ready we're gonna fold in an eight ounce container of thawed whipped topping. Okay, we'll put the apples in here. Okay, now we'll chop up the candy bars. And this is the hard part when you try to not eat the candy bars as you chop them. <laughs> Go ahead and open the caramels too. This is it, y'all. We just chop up the candy bars, put them in there. We'll do the caramels and we'll put it in the refrigerator. And then after lunch, I have some little dessert cups to put it in. I'll get us all a little candy bar salad to eat while we wait for the eclipse to start. We got farmer's ham, turkey, lettuce, tomato, We've got Swiss cheese. Singles cheese, Sissy's getting that. We also just have some of this Colby and Monterey Jack snack and cheese. And we need to get the mayonnaise. That's the sun. The bright part in the glasses is the sun. The moon is the dark circle. See it? Yes. I'm trying to see if I can show y'all on the camera, but it's not really picking it up because the sun, it's just showing the sun like that. But it's already covering it pretty good right now. Back in 2017, we were in the path of totality and it was weird because 
all the birds got quiet because it got, you know, really dark. And so they're like, what? Is it not time? But they all got really quiet and it just, it felt really weird. Are they doing fireworks? Is somebody doing fireworks on the clip stage? Uh-oh, I just saw a bat up there. The bats are gonna think it's getting evening time and they'll come out everywhere. <laughs> Y'all better stay back, bats. It ain't night time. I got the, I was underneath this horse putting these shoes on and I kept noticing, I was like, man, it's getting dark. And I forgot all about today's gonna be the partial eclipse. We still got plenty of time. This won't last long. Once this clears back up, we still got plenty of daylight. Come on, baby. Some big old horses. Talking about a job. You hold these bad boys up, they weigh about, these two right here weigh probably this one and that one and that other one down there is up there close to about 1,800 pounds. I mean, and I guarantee you, sometimes they will lean on you with about everything they got. We got them. You want some more shoes? Wait about six weeks, cause I can't take it, my, my back's about gone. All right, y'all, it's a little while later now. My eyes were watering like crazy when we first went out there for the picnic. I mean, I could not stop my eyes from watering. There is pollen going on out there, but also that tablecloth that I got, the yellow on it, I mean, it was so bright, you couldn't even look at it. So when you're trying to look at your sandwich, you were squinting your eyes up and my eyes were just pouring water. So we walked Miss Jackie, her eclipse glasses, back up there so we got a little afternoon walk in now i guess i'm gonna clean i don't need to cook supper yet it is almost five but titus and tyler aren't gonna be home tyler went with him today because he needed his help he had some draft horses they're not gonna be home until i think he said six six or six thirty so i don't need to start cooking for about another hour because what i'm making is only gonna take about 30 minutes to cook it's a pepper jack chicken bubble bake and i got a rotisserie chicken for it right here so i don't have to cook the chicken we're just gonna shred this and then put it all together. Change of plans, Titus just called and they are on their way back now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this pepper jack chicken bubble bait. So I'm just shredding up the chicken right now. And you can make this a few different ways. You can do a Monterey chicken. If you don't want the pepper jack cheese, you can do Monterey jack cheese. You can do a mozzarella chicken bubble up bake um, or you could do a cheddar one. All right, we've got the chicken ready. Now we're gonna put some spinach and I'm just gonna do a rough chop on this real quick. I'm using fresh spinach, but you can use frozen. But, uh, I think I'll do a little more spinach. We'll go with about that much more again. Now we need one can of cream of chicken soup. One cup of sour cream, some pepper, about half a teaspoon of garlic powder, just a few crushed red pepper flakes, about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. We'll get this mixed together and then we'll add in the cheese and we'll chop the biscuits. I have one can of flaky jumbo biscuits. We're gonna cut them into about, we'll see how big they are and decide how many pieces we need to cut them into. So we put in an eight ounce bag of shredded pepper jack. Now the biscuits. We'll cut them into six pieces. Go ahead and stir these in and then add the rest. We're gonna put about a cup of French fried onions and a quarter cup of milk. Okay, we'll get our nine by 13 pan ready. Pour it in and it's going in the oven uncovered for 25 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out and put some more pepper jack cheese on top. Then it'll go back in just for about five or 10 more minutes to melt that cheese. Now, the reason it's called a bubble bake is because as it bakes, the biscuits will bake, you know, and bubble up and it looks like little bubbles all throughout the casserole. We've made a few other bubble up bakes, some uh, dinner recipes and some dessert ones too. 
probably some breakfast ones. While that's cooking, I'll show y'all how the back porch is coming along. So we're going for, as y'all know, the old timey grandma's porch plus cracker barrel style, kind of. Over here you can see the cracker barrel style jumping out. So this is a saw that Titus's great uncle gave him. He gave it to him probably, man, I would say close to 15 years ago he gave that to him. And he's had it hanging, um, I think he had it hanging in the garage or the shed, I can't remember. But anyway, he put it over here because I told him I wanted old timey. That's another reason I was wanting to go around and look at some antique stores and stuff yesterday. I want like some old timey just things like this from a long, long time ago to put out here for decorating this porch. This over here is a really old draw knife. And then he built this shelf, you know, right now he has that lantern sitting on there, but that's not, you know. That's not the one that's going to stay there. It looks too Christmassy. I tried to leave it on the mantle inside for a little while, but the, with the red, it just looks really, really Christmassy. We did take off the Christmas stuff up here, but inside, there's still all that Christmas stuff, which could probably be taken off, but I think it'll mess it up. So we'll just keep that one for Christmas time. But for now, it's just, it's just a battery operated one, but we want to find a real old one to put there. So we're going to be on the lookout for that. And then this for right now, we just have these two rocking chairs sitting right here with this side table. That used to actually be beside my bed for a long time. Titus built that, I guess about eight or nine years ago, whenever he was building those log beds and all, he made this side table. And these rocking chairs are just the ones we've, you know, had on the porch for a long time. So we put those in here. This table he made over the weekend. I showed y'all that in yesterday's video. And we were trying to decide if we wanted stools or chairs with it. So the big slab of wood he had left over from the TV stand project. And then he just had these posts that he made the legs with. And this actually came from the woods over there. The twisty woods. It's the mountain laurel. He just used it to decorate the sides. Here's how it looks from this side. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this old... You know how Cracker Barrel, they just have all kind of stuff like that hanging everywhere. It's just an old-timey feeling. I love it because I'm old-timey. In heart, I'm old-timey. And getting old-timey in real life. <laughs> Biscuits. It's biscuits in there, yeah. It's good. Real good.